Today, we are testing the speed performance of three popular VPS hosts, Vauter, Linode, and DigitalOcean. And I've stress tested them for three days using manual testing methods as well as engaging in some automated testing tools. All in all, I've collected close to a thousand data points and I've spent a lot of time testing, recording, organizing, and analyzing the data. So I really hope you can smash that thumbs up button for my effort. I know three days worth of data is not enough, but this is an indicator of how well these web hosts perform. And in the next video coming out on this channel, I'm pinning this three holes against many different VPS holes and I'll be collecting five additional days worth of data. Now the reason for me spending so much time on these tests is because it's almost time for me to renew my web hosting plan and I'm thinking of switching to a better and cheaper host. So there is no reason for me to mess with or alter the results of these hosts. I'm genuinely interested in the results of a fair and objective test and I believe you do too. So without further ado, let's get right into the test. Now, initially, I wanted to test a couple of different server setups. I had installed Open Lightspeed, Cyber Panel with Lightspeed, and Plaz on each of these hosting services. But in the end, I've decided to keep it simple. I've decided to go with the setup I want for all of my sites, which is using the Cyber Panel with the Open Lightspeed server. Plaz was only possible with DigitalOcean and Vulture, but it isn't free for Linode. And even with the free trial of Plaz on Linode, I couldn't install the SSL certificate on the domain. So I decided to drop the the test on Plask. Anyway, here we are. I've set up one domain on each of these web hosting servers. On the left, you'll see DigitalOcean. This was set up with the basic shared CPU plan using the premium Intel SSD. As you can see, this is 1 GB, 1 Intel CPU. Over here, it is 1 GB, 1 Intel CPU. If we choose the regular plan, you will not see the Intel here. So this is a plan for this domain and I've hosted it on a New York server. And then as for Volter, this is the high frequency plan which is compatible to the one I selected on DigitalOcean and I've hosted it on New Jersey because it's closest to New York and this is set up with Cyber Panel, same as DigitalOcean. And then as for Linode, I've set it up with a shared CPU under the Nano 1GB plan and I've hosted this on Newark because it's the closest server to the other two. So all three servers has 1GB of bandwidth. I think this is a comparable setup for all three servers. So what we are going to do is to upload this website on each of the domains. As you can see, this is quite a heavy website. We have a slider here. We have a testimonial section, a call to action, and this is drawing information from WooCommerce. You can actually add these products to cart. And then we have all these elements here, including this, that is also a slider. So this is generally a heavy website that is loading quite a lot of JavaScripts. And this website is currently hosted on SiteGround. It is one of the websites I use for WooCommerce tutorials. And let's check out how this site performs on Google PageSpeed Insights so that we have a benchmark for the entire test. And here we go, we have a 55 score. And we have this reduced initial server response time as the only optimization opportunity. Now let me show you behind the scenes what is installed on this site. So as you can see, these are the plugins installed. And then as for the WordPress team, I've installed the Cadence team. Now I've uploaded the entire website on this WP Tester 2, which is over here. I've also installed this on Right Hand AI, which is this domain, as well as this. So as you can see, they are identical. And to show you this is a fair test, let's log into the WordPress backend and let's check out the plugins. So as you can see, they are all identical. There are 11 plugins installed in each of them. And as for the team, Cadence is installed in each of them. Now, because this website is hosted on SiteGround, we have the SiteGround Optimizer plugin installed and we have used WP Rocket to optimize the site. But over on these three servers, the servers are configured with open like speed. So we don't need the SiteGround Optimizer anymore. We can deactivate and delete this plugin and we can also deactivate and delete the WP Rocket plugin because all we need is the Lightspeed Cache plugin. So let's install that. 
And now let me configure the Lightspeed cache settings, but I will speed up the process. And the reason for showing this to you is because I want you to know that I've configured the settings fair and square. Transparency is all that I'm going for in this test. So feel free to slow this video down to see what I've configured in the Lightspeed cache for each of these plugins. And when we are done, I will share with you how I'll be conducting this test. And we are done. Now let's go over how we are going to test this. All right, let me share with you how I'll be running this comparison test. We'll be using two automated tools as well as doing manual testing on two additional testing tools. The first automated testing tool we'll be using is Pingdom that tracks the load time of all the elements of the page as well as the uptime. However, the results of this tool will not be taken into account as the results are very much different from the Google PageSpeed Insights. This will just be used as an indicator. The next automated testing tool will be PageSpeed Plus where it conducts Google PageSpeed Insights tests automatically. I've set it to do a test every hour for three days and it will give us a nice spreadsheet for us to analyze the results. This is the premium tool I paid for to assist me with this test, so I hope you appreciate the time and money I've invested in this video. Anyway, the next tool I'll be using for the manual test is webpagetest.org. It will give us similar information as Google PageSpeed Insights, and the cool thing about this tool is that you can set a maximum of 9 tests to be conducted each time you execute the tool. So it gives us 9 additional data points in every test we do. And finally, I will do 3 tests on Google PageSpeed Insights every weekend hour of the day for three days so that we can collect as much data as possible within this short period of time. We will first analyze the data of each testing tool and then towards the end of the video, we will compile everything. So without further ado, let's start with testing. Now, let me show you a snippet of what I've done for this test. I feel that showing this part of the video to you is important because this way, you know that I actually spent the time doing all these tests instead of just telling you that I did all these tests and here's the results. I want this video to be open and transparent, but at the same time, I don't want to waste your time watching this even though I fast forwarded these testing videos. It will probably take 20 to 30 minutes to complete. So I will upload all these testing videos on my blog and when the blog is published, I will post the link in the description. Please be patient with this, it will take some time before the blog is published. Anyway, let's get on with analyzing the results from each testing tool. You definitely want to stick with me to the end of this video because I'll be putting all these test results into one place and give you a verdict as to which is the fastest among these three VPS holes. The first result we are analyzing is from Pingdom. Using it, I'm able to track the speed performance and the uptime automatically. Let us take a look at this domain that is hosted on DigitalOcean. Take note of the page size because it should be constant across three sites. As you can see, DigitalOcean is fetching a grid of 96 out of 100 and the average load time is 460 milliseconds. If we take a look at the number of tests conducted, you can see that there were a substantial number of tests done to get this load time. The load time we get from DigitalOcean is 460 milliseconds. And if we go back, we can see that Voucher is the fastest. Let's click into it and you will see the page size is the same. And the same number of tests were conducted to get that average. So in terms of the fastest, Voucher is the winner, followed by Linode and then DigitalOcean. This is purely based on the test conducted by Pingdom and this load time is not the actual load time, it is indicative. So we need to rely on the test from Google PageSpeed Insights to get a more accurate indicator. Anyway, let's take a look at the uptime tracker. As you can see, they are all 100%, but as I said earlier, this is just three days worth of data. So nothing concrete at this point in time. Now, let's take a look at the two that test Google PageSpeed Insights automatically. Now again, let's first take a look at DigitalOcean. I've used this tool to do a Google PageSpeed Insights test every hour of the day on these three pages. This is the home page, this is the single product page, and this is the shop page. And you can see that they are all in the high 90s score for mobile and a perfect 100 for desktop, which basically means that DigitalOcean is able to process internal JavaScript requests very quickly. Now, what is shown here is the most recent test results. And if we want an average, we've got to visit the Google Sheets. 
As you can see, there is a lot of data and I can't really get an average because some cells have this inverted comma. So let me fix this and I will come back to it. We are back and before I share the results with you, this is the range to get a good score from Google PHP Insights. Now for DigitalOcean, the average mobile score for the homepage is 96. The largest contentful paint is 2.4 seconds, which is in the good range. This is one of the core web vitals. The first input delay is 57 milliseconds, which is also in the good range. This is a core web vital as well. So we have passed two already. And then the cumulative layout shift is zero. Another core web vitals, we have passed three of them. The first contentful paint is 1.6 seconds, which is also in the good range. Speed index is two seconds, which is also good. The time to interactive is fast as well and there is a short total blocking time. Now we are only focusing on the mobile score for the home page but just to take a peek at the mobile score of the single product page and a shop page. You can see that we have a score of 96 for the single product page that looks like this. For those of you who have been following my channel, you know that I built this with hook elements and dynamic content. So generally it is a heavy loading page but it is performing well with digital ocean. For the shop page, it is a near perfect score which rounds up to 100. So this is for Digital Ocean. Let's check out Valter. Now let me do the necessary. So here we are. I'm actually quite surprised to see Valter performing badly in this test. I mean, it is still in the 90 zone, but I thought it would be in the high 90s. Anyway, this is the largest contentful paint. It did not pass the core web vital. It is in the orange zone and it is almost 400 milliseconds slower than digital ocean. It did not pass the first input delay as well. The CLS is the same. It is a close fight between the first contentful paint. Valter is faster in terms of the speed index, but digital ocean is faster in terms of the time to interactive and this is the total blocking time let's go to the average score of the single product page it is getting a 96 which is good and as for the shop page you see there are new data coming in every hour these weren't here a few minutes ago and over here you see a score of 100 if we expand this out this is the point average now let's add in the data from Linode Surprisingly, Linode is getting a higher score than Valter, but it did not pass the largest contentful pane as well. It did not pass the first input delay as well. It just missed the mark by a little bit. It is the fastest in terms of the first contentful paint, slowest on the speed index, an average on the time to interactive, and this is the total blocking time. If we go to the single product page, it is performing slightly better than the others. And as for the shop page, it's getting a near perfect score as well. So for this test, I would say that DigitalOcean has the best score and the worst performing is Valter. Honestly, before I started with the test, I was quite confident that I would switch to Valter high frequency. But I was quite surprised to see that DigitalOcean and Linode performed better. Anyway, we still have the manual results, so it's still too early to tell which is the fastest. Let's first take a look at the results from webpagetest.org. So this is the long list I've put together after recording the results of all those manual tests. And just take note that each of the results you see here represents an average of 9 tests. Because before running the test, I set it that way. So each of the consolidated results here represents an average of 270 results. So DigitalOcean performs the best on first contentful paint, the largest contentful paint, and the time to interactive. Voucher performed the best on speed index and the fully loaded time. But to put it in another angle, Voucher performed the worst on the first contentful paint, the largest contentful paint, and the time to interactive. So Valter is on both extreme ends. And Linode is kind of in the middle. So to put this in ranks, DigitalOcean ranked number one, Linode is in the middle, and Valter came in last place. Now let's take a look at the results from Google PageSpeed Insights. Now over here, I did three tests almost every waking hour for the past three days. So each of these results here represents an average of 90 results. On this test, Valter did better than Linode, but DigitalOcean still performed the best. Other than the speed index where it lost to Valter, it got the best results for the rest. Valter is faster than Linode in terms of the first contentful paint, time to interactive, 
and the total blocking time. Whereas Linode is a little faster than Voucher in terms of the largest contentful paint. So for this test, DigitalOcean is number one, followed by Voucher and then Linode. What do you think about the results so far? We have yet to consolidate all the results, but share with me your thoughts on this. Personally, I'm quite surprised that Voucher is not performing better than DigitalOcean. But at the same time, I'm happy to see DigitalOcean performing the best because it is a potential web host for my sites. Anyway, just share with me your thoughts in the comment section. Now, let's go to the most interesting part of all. We are going to combine all the results from the automated Google PageSpeed Insights test, the webpage test.org, and the test results from this page. So let's go. So I've put together the final results of each test in one place and honestly, I'm quite anxious at this point. It is clear that DigitalOcean is the fastest since it has won first place in most of the tests. But will Valter come in second or will it be in the last place? Let's check it out. For the rating, let's give an average between this and this. So in terms of the rating, where we have the data for these two tests, DigitalOcean has the highest score, followed by Linode, and then Voucher. Let's discover the first Contentful Paint. Now as for the first Contentful Paint, DigitalOcean is the fastest, followed by Linode, and then Voucher. Let's check the speed index. Alright, this shows that Voucher is performing the best in terms of the speed index, followed by DigitalOcean and then Linode. Let's check the largest Contentful Paint. Now, as for the largest Contentful Paint, DigitalOcean performed the best, followed by Linode and then Voucher. And for the time to interactive, DigitalOcean performed the best, followed by Linode and then Voucher. For me, this is one of the most important because it is an indicator telling us how fast a user can actually do something on your site. For example, scrolling or clicking of a button. Anyway, let's continue. And for the total blocking time, DigitalOcean performed the best, followed by Voucher and then Linode. The cumulative layout shift is constant for the three holes. So to sum it up, I would say DigitalOcean performed the best overall. The second place, which is a very close fight with the third place, goes to Linode. And the last place goes to Voucher. Honestly, I'm very surprised with the results. I would have expected Voucher to perform the best, but unfortunately it didn't. What do you think of this? Just note that this test is based on three days worth of results, and it is not definitive as to which is the fastest host. I'll be extending these results to an additional of five days because I'll be comparing these three hosts to around another six VPS hosting companies. And hopefully till then we'll see a better score for Voucher. And who knows? The fastest WordPress VPS host may not even be one of these three. So if you want to know the final results, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos. I do a lot of WordPress tutorials, comparisons and reviews, and I'm pretty sure it will help you out in one way or another if you own a WordPress site. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video and again, Feel free to share with me your thoughts on this test. I've spent a lot of time on this just so that you and I can benefit from it. If this video did help, I hope you can smash the thumbs up button so that this video can reach out to others who need this information. All the best to you, take care, and as always, stay safe.